past Critters Creek to the tiny town of which I speak about a mile and a hair past anywhere you've been. Follow the smell of apple pie and the sound of cicadas rising high and go slow if that their fog has settled in. Go to the other side of the water tower where Billy Ray Bob climbed late one hour and he sprayed in red, will you marry me, Heather? Where people still remember when, how it used to be or could have been, and a beauty pageant queen's fame <laughs> will last forever. Where heroes come in every size, success depends on the pair of eyes and laughter, how it'll heal the wounded soul. <laughs> a place where it's still okay to say you pray and where you want to end up someday, and all is made right with a casserole. Did you say casserole? I said casserole. Not time to eat yet, Josh. Focus. Okay, okay. It's a town steeped in tradition, love of country, fear of perdition, where change can be a little hard to swallow. <laughs> but go, and you're not the same. It's our hope that one visit and your heart will be changed. So come on in, cause you're a friend in Pride's Hollow. Some sweet morning when this day is over, I'll fly away. You could hear her singing all the way from the parking lot. Loud staccato jubilant notes of a life well lived. The automatic glass doors opened up and I could see this woman standing there holding her mop as if it were a beloved dance partner as if her faded cotton dress were made but of the finest silk. I sat in the corner of the lobby typing on my computer and trying not to stare at this woman who it didn't matter. She was oblivious to everyone around her as if it were the most natural thing in the world to be dancing and singing and twirling her way across the marbled floors of her hospital lobby. While the beeps of the monitors and the dings of the elevators sang to her in sweet harmony. And I could smell the perfume of my changed perspective. As I watched this woman turn her job into an art, turn her work into nothing short of an act of worship. She didn't know I was in the restroom later that morning to hear her stop what she was doing and get this at work, go and pray for a stranger and their wounded child. She didn't know that I saw her help that old man wrap the shawl tighter around his wife's shoulders. She didn't know that I saw her give away her lunch. And I watched all throughout the day in those cold, unexpected, antiseptic corners of that hospital. And y'all, I saw pain find healing. I watched sorrow meet comfort. And I listened to hopelessness find hope. Wrapped up in a faded cotton dress and comfortable shoes. Some sweet morning when this day is over, I'll fly away. You could hear her singing all the way to the parking lot. 
when she went to meet her bus at dusk. And I stood in front of that big glass window and I watched her go and I desperately wished that she wouldn't. And I wondered if I would ever see her again. But I knew I would never forget her. And I was beside this slick, commercialized sign that had no doubt been created by a group of marketing intellectuals. And the sign said, quite simply, excellence starts here. And I wondered if their CEO knew just how true that really was. You see, that day, a woman with a mop reminded me what it looks like to serve. A woman who smelled of bleach and blessings reminded me that happiness, joy, hope, love, faith is not an emotion or a feeling. It's a choice. And if you choose it enough, one day you will wake up and it just A woman with a mop reminded me that every single person in an organization or an institution is vital to the bottom line, to the customer experience. A woman with a mop reminded me that excellence starts here. All that from a woman with a mom. And the funny thing is, she had no idea. The way I see it, if a woman with a mom can sing like that, So can I. <laughs> Welcome back to My Carolina Today, live from Crabtree Valley Mall in Raleigh. This is the time of year when you're dececorating this and baking that and, and very long lists. Of yeah, just feeling to do. overwhelmed, but Shopping it, lists. it oh. doesn't have to be that way. So we brought in our favorite humorist, Kelly Swanson, to give some advice on how to keep our sanity this time of year. How do you do it? Well, and it is stressful. The holidays are stressful, especially for women. Yeah. And I think we've got enough advice out there telling us how to decorate a table or bake a fluffy or cake or shop on a budget. Yeah. But nobody has given us advice on how to get out of helping during the holidays. Get out of get helping. Out of helping. <laughs> I mean, let's just face it, maybe not y'all, but some of us, we are lazy. Yeah. We are tired, we are burned out. I just was not born with that desire to step up. Yeah. So, so I made a list. Okay, how do we do Tell it, Kelly? I made a list of ways you can get out of helping during the holidays. <laughs> oh Seriously, it works like a charm. Okay. okay. The first one, tell people you're not sure you can make it. All right. Okay. Say you got to work enough. at like the soup kitchen and kind of bow your head when you say that. <laughs> and say that you won't know to the last minute, yeah. but that you would be happy to pick up some chicken nuggets on your way in. Okay. And, and that's when Great Aunt Ethel's going to have a mini stroke at the idea of putting processed chicken on one of her silver platters. Right. Okay. And so they'll tell you, don't bring a thing. <laughs> You show up say, and yeah, and, and what do you do? You show up at the last minute. And it's like, yeah, it's a Christmas miracle. Yeah. It totally works every time. What else works? Um, you got to time your arrival accordingly. You don't want to get there too early because what are they going to do? Put you to work. They're going to put you to work. Yeah. Same thing if you get there too late. You want to come in when that last loud group comes in with all the kids that's making all the noise, <laughs> just kind of slide right on right in. Right in there. And then they won't notice Unnoticed. you. Now, now, some drafty Dodgers will come right before dinner. You know those oh, that come yeah. right at that last minute, but that will backfire uh -huh. because you're not guaranteed a good seat. Oh, yeah, and then you might sit next oh, to someone yeah. you don't want. Oh, yeah, right. they're going to put you by Ethel. She's going to give you a 20-minute detailed uh, account of her gallbladder surgery, and oh. it always <laughs> ends with a viewing of the scar. So that yeah. could... 
That could backfire on you too. And and stay out of the kitchen, y'all know. Yeah. Where does the most work happen? In That's the right. In the kitchen. I got a surefire way. It's kind of gross, so but it works every time. Bring oatmeal, like oh crusty, thick, chunky oatmeal. Put it all over your hands, and every time you go in the kitchen, complain about this rash that you can't get rid of. <gasps> And then, ask, <laughs> and then ask if they need help stringing beans. And I promise you, <laughs> they'll say no. They'll say no. It Works can be stressful time. being around some family members that you don't see all the time at the oh, holidays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. Because you don't get to pick your family. No, you don't. No, no. You're bound together by blood instead of choice. That's right. That's right. But you can do the rotating excuse. Ooh, okay. That? And that's perfect. Go find like Uncle George, who's working on the fire, and go yuck it up with Uncle George for a little while, and then tell him you would help carry in the logs, but you promised Ed you'd help with the turkey. Oh. So go out to Ed, get where this is going, say, I can't help you with the turkey, I'd love to, but I, I promise, promise <laughs> I'd watch the kids outside in the yard. Oh. And it's called the rotating excuse, and you give advice at every step of the way. I love it. Hey, do you oh, know that. my husband? <laughs> he, he's on that. See, he must have gotten my he list. He does. Kelly, Kelly, we love when you stop by. Good to see you. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Thank you. <laughs>